that's what was my main problem like the last three years is like pouring into somebody else's cup and my cup be like almost empty. And then it's like, I'm an empath too. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to attract narcissistic people like, okay. <laughs> <It's literally, laughs> Don't I know it. Don't I know it's it. It's easy, like it's a story of my life. So I was like, okay, I could track. But I'm, I'm thinking these people are good for me. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking these people are like, my ride or dies. Like the people like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the loved ones, you know, and I still love them, but I love them from a distance now. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's more like, I got to let you go with love. Mm -hmm. Because it's not good for me. You're not good for me. Yeah. I'm empty. I'm drained every day mm -hmm. because I have to fill your cup. Right. And I'm not getting that same reciprocation. So and how they respond to that is how they respond to it. Yeah. You know, because we it. can internalize the response too. Yep. You know, but like it's up to them to choose how they, you know, how they take it. Mm -hmm. and, if you're dealing with narcissistic people, chances are they're not going to take it well at all. But that <laughs> at all, but that's not on you. No, that's not on you. You know. Yeah, you can't be. Uh, you can't go from the because think about narcissistic people that they think they're victims, mm -hmm. and really they're the person who's victimizing you. Yeah. Every time, every day, every the time of the moment, especially if you're an empath, because you're naturally attracted to, attracting these people because they see a a, a hack on you. Mm -hmm. Basically, they see some way they they can like control, have control. Yes, and that's what the whole premise is. Is like uh, the relationship is based on like you know, controller and victim. You know, mm -hmm. what person. can you give me? What and once you, you stop me? giving, what then I'm done with you. And yeah, that's when they, the discord they, happens. They, they literally live off the energy you provide. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's like a parasite. And, and once that energy changes, once you challenge them, yeah, it's over. It's over. Your, their perception of you is forever changed, maybe ruined. Yep. And the relationship is forever changed, yep. maybe ruined, until you decide to put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the thing is like, I've dealt with this, you know, with relatives. I've dealt with this in prospective relationships where it's been like, okay, like I am setting a boundary now. <laughs> And then I'm public enemy number freaking one. <laughs> and it's like, all right. And like, the thing is being empathic people, we then start to think well, maybe I'm the narcissist. Yes. Maybe, maybe I am the That's problem. That's the goal for the narcissist is to make you uh -huh. think you're the narcissist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is to get you weak. Yeah. Is to get you weak. weak. And I think the creating the boundaries, I know that's what I learned as I get older, it's creating the boundaries early. Mm -hmm. Like almost like the first two, three dates. Uh -huh. If I do in a relationship or the first, if I just, if a new friends mm -hmm. or whatever, Create those boundaries early on. That way, it's no discussion. It's no line to cross. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's lines to cross. That way, it's like, oh, you can't, you can't do that without my consent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Or you know exactly where I stand with that. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, you know you're disrespecting me. Yeah. So you know, and I know we have that understanding. Uh, understanding yeah. that if you do this and cross this line, then you know exactly what you're doing, and I know exactly what you're doing. Right. And I think too, like. Being intentional in your relationships yeah. goes such a long way instead of just kind of like letting things slide. <laughs> yeah, blow, let it or, flow. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? Or, you know, where where is this going? Like, being intentional. Like, hey, I'm into this. Are you into this? <laughs> like, right off the bat. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. don't, don't. Three months later. Yeah. Three months later. Like, don't give narcissists <laughs> a chance to play games because they're going to play games. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know? That's what they do. Yeah. And, and then they'll spin it on you. But exactly. like, and again, you know, that's not just romantic relationships. It's family. Family, you know? it's like, man. Set your boundaries, you know, uh, and it's uncomfortable. Yeah, because you let them just like a bully. The bully kicks your ass one day. He's definitely going to kick your ass the next day. Mm -hmm. And the day after that. And the day after that. Until you kick his. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and create them boundaries. Like, no, you can't do this. Yeah. Every day. You can't do this. Yeah. No, no more. What you allow is what will continue. Come on, man.